Hello everyone, welcome to Average Joe Watch Reviews, where we do more than just reviews. Today we're looking at the Matthew and Sons Irukandji Diver with ceramic bezel and purple sunburst dial. This watch has become one of my favorites of my collection because it's just so polarizing, unique, and just fun. This was the watch that I brought to uh, with me on vacation when I was actually doing some boating activities. And this is just a really fun watch. So let's just dive into some of the features. As I said, it has a sunburst dial. This one features the NH35 movement, which is the ever so popular in micro brands. And this watch does have beautiful loom not only within the dial and the indices and the hands and the lollipop second hand, but also the ceramic bezel insert also has loom on the numbers. Now, as you could see, and also the pip and the, the dashes here. So the uh, crown here, I actually ordered for uh, at the 10 o'clock position. And they give you the option for the 10 o'clock position or the 4 o'clock position. Now, 4 o'clock position is reminiscent to a lot of Seikos that we are familiar with. And um, I don't know of any other watch that has the crown at the 10 o'clock position. So I said, definitely, I want it at the 10 o'clock. And as you can see, the Matthew and Sons uh, logo at on the crown. Beautiful job. Definitely a coin edge there. I like the edging of this of this bezel, and the bezel is actually one of my favorite features of this watch. Even with my Mickey Mouse hands, I can turn this crown or this bezel very easily. And what's so cool is that the way that the case sticks out, so it actually sticks out to, on the bottom and actually angles upward into the bezel. And you can actually rest your fingers on the case and still move this bezel around. And the sound is ever so satisfying. And this is actually one of the best bezels I have ever felt. And it has no, virtually no back play whatsoever. But I mean, it's just such a very crisp, clean, easy to turn unidirectional bezel. And again, like, there's no position that you can get your hands into that you that you can't turn this bezel. And I can't say that about divers in general. So we'll get this back to 12 o'clock for all the OCD people out there. Now when we turn the watch, you can see the sunburst, which is beautiful effect. But when we turn it to certain angles, look at that distortion. Look at the logo. Look at your kanji and watch it. It looks like you're looking through like those uh, real thick uh, bottle glasses. Really cool effect. Sapphire crystal on this one. Um, no AR coating, but you know what? I actually have never had a problem reading this dial, so not a problem. Uh, let's, just, let's get this movement working. So we'll just shake it a couple times, and you can see the NH35 movement come into life. Now, it is named after the famous jellyfish of the Australian waters. And before I turn it around, you can also see the date function. And you know what? Let's just, let's just set the time before we turn this watch around. So yeah, it does have a screw down crown. Nice to have considering there's no crown guard. So if you don't have crown guards, you definitely want to have at least a screw down crown. It helps to protect the crown. Um, really has no difference in water resistance. I actually learned that just recently from um, the Swiss watch company. They did a video on that on YouTube. Um, very interesting. Um, so, but yeah, so really the screw down crown is really to, to protect the crown. So we turn it to the, uh, pop the crown out to the first position. But actually first we want to actually set the time to six o'clock. That is when the date wheel is not engaged and it could be 6 p.m. or 6 a.m. And this will ensure that you can operate the date function without stripping the teeth or the gears so uh, of the date wheel. So this is, 
your safe zone and it clicks over very very nicely it's a seiko nh35 guys i mean it's a very it's a workhorse winding it's very simple okay and then you just press it in and turn to lock the crown now the case itself looks like a jellyfish as you can see it's got the body of a jellyfish it's very very unique love it the polishing on it is beautiful look at the polishing it's got the up and down polish i'm sorry not polishing it's um brushing so you've got the brushing that has the up and down strokes all right it's a lot of brushing on this case there is some polish though as you can see on the outer links and that's again another unique feature of this watch i like that because typically you have polishing on the inside whether it's the the opposite you know the inside of the outer link or usually have polished inner links so very very cool there and i like the fact that this doesn't conform to the case they just did it straight across it's almost like a t-link very nice and you also have screw in links very very quality plenty of micro adjustments look at that you get six micro adjustments here you get yourself a milled clasp with a safety clasp on top of that and the mas logo brushing and polishing on it a little bit of brushing and polishing on the safety clasp as well very very nicely done this watch also comes with a black nylon strap. The jellyfish, the Irukandji jellyfish, it's stainless, sapphire, water resistant to 200 meters. And again, that NH35 movement. You see some bead blasting on the back of the case. Very nice uh, embossed jellyfish. Very, very nicely done. Like the fact that it's a screw down uh, case back. I mean, I really... I really don't have much to say in regards to anything negative. This is I, I, this is actually a 42 millimeter case, which I find surprising because it does not wear like one because the bezel. So let, let's just do this. We're gonna measure the bezel because this is how it wears. Okay. So we take a look at the bezel. It's a 38 millimeter, right? So this watch does wear like a 38, 39 millimeter, right? Even if you split the difference, we're looking at a 42 millimeter case. So this this wears anywhere from a 38 to a, I would say a 39. Um, and do a, a wrist check today. We've got the Seamaster Planet Ocean, and I'm going to show it to you on my wrist. So this is this watch here is a 42 true 42 millimeter watch. Okay, and we compare it to this 42 millimeter watch okay and i'll show it to you on the wrist and show you that it doesn't wear like a 42 it's really really it's it's really unique i, I really like this watch a lot it it's it, it's a it's like i don't usually wear a 38 but because i know it's a 42 uh, case uh, diameter i have no problem wearing it it's like all mental you know it's crazy but look at that. It really pops on the wrist. I mean, the bracelet's done so well. I mean, guys, I the only, I, I'm going to tell you, the only negative I have, and it's just basically a stylistic thing, and it's a personal thing for me, is with these applied um, luminescent indices, I would have liked to see some outlining. Like, like you see the date window here? I would have liked to have seen... Um, just like with like, for instance, this watch here, you see stainless steel outlining of the indices. I would have liked to have seen that, but I'm sure that's more of a stylistic thing that they chose to do. And that's just my personal preference. And guys, I have to pick something out because this is a near, I don't want to say perfect watch, but this is a really, really nicely done watch. And I can't find much wrong. The other thing I love about this watch is the fact that you can change out this bracelet just by, you've got drilled lugs here. What a pain.
pain those gloves are, man, I'll tell you. Okay, so we take our spring bar tool removal, spring bar removal tool, and we just go on the, I wish more companies did this. I, I really do, uh, with the drill lugs, because look how easy that was. And then on top of that, what they do is they give you a very cool canvas strap. And you can see the keeper here. They give you a quick release system. Buckle up in your car and on your watches, I always say. And that's the only reason why I know how to get these right the first time. So I'm going to show this to you on the canvas strap. And we'll tie this all up for you. There we go. So there it is on the black strap. Definitely has a nice contrast. And here's how it looks on the wrist. So either way, the watch looks great. I prefer it on the metal strap or on the metal bracelet, but you guys might think differently. But I want to thank you guys so much for joining me. This is definitely one of the more fun watches that I've reviewed in a while. And I want to thank you so much. And please remember that there's always time to be kind to one another. Please take care of each other, and I'll see you guys next time on Average Jew Watch Reviews. God bless, my friends.